Dave, I suppose, just sum up what's happened this afternoon. Um, I suppose I've got to be careful what I say in, in, in some instances, but nowhere near good enough. Embarrassing performance. Um, got exactly what we deserved, and well, miles too inconsistent in terms of what we do. We spoke before the game. This was a massive opportunity for us because other teams weren't playing. Massive opportunity to win the game, potentially put ourselves third in the league, um, show the things that we need to show on the back of a, a good performance, and that's what you get. Um, You have to do the basics, and we did do the basics. And to win a game of football, at least six of your players, seven of your players need to come out on top of their individual battles. We didn't win, and in a one individual battle, um, embarrassing defensively, bullied all over the pitch, couldn't deal with functional stuff. And let's have, uh, right the level we're, we're playing at, functional stuff is heading the ball, winning first balls, winning second balls, getting knockdowns, all those sort of things. Didn't do it. Nowhere near well enough. Um, and yeah, I was a rocket scientist to work out the performance deserves nothing, gets nothing, um, apart from a, a long trick home and a, and a seriously disgruntled um, manager. I hope the players feel the same way um, and they'll suffer as a result of it. You said walking, you know, we're a really good side and they press high, and, and it, how much did that goal after two minutes really not help and rock the ball in terms of even our defence? Doesn't you prepare the players to uh, what's going to happen in the game? Now I can quite happily stand here and say that if I've not um, prepared them for what we expected and something different happened, then I go fair enough. We did something that didn't happen. We told them exactly what would what would transpire. The fact of it is you have to need to deal with it and didn't deal with it. Two centre backs bullied. A decent game like on Tuesday. Absolutely horrendous today. Cass got loads of applause, it's done well. But great game on Tuesday, terrible today. And I can go through the team and pretty much say that across the board. There aren't, like I say, Luke Armstrong fed on scraps. Apart from him, um, every other player in there was less than bang average, really, 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 really poor um, and like I say, we have to digest it, we have a, a full week and there's people been asking for opportunities, um, people will get opportunities next next Saturday, I'd suggest that there's a big chance for them to, to take them because there's absolutely no one can um, have any um, Demands is the wrong word, but thought that to maintain the place for the next for the next next league game because um, that's miles short of where uh, where we are in terms of our expectations. We knew that we'd have to work hard. But we're a hard working team, but we didn't do the basics today. We didn't we didn't compete. No, no, no. We did compete, but. They competed better than us. They got onto second balls. They won first balls. Um, we knew that they would press, and we wanted to try and, I suppose, play forward a little bit more and play beyond that press and get people in. That's why we went with with Mason and, and with with Lucas, two focal points for us. Didn't do that. Didn't put the goal the ball in good areas. Didn't um, get hold of the ball when we needed to. Um, and listen, the goals are an absolute shambles. 799 or however many fans in here today, how much do you think that affected us or do you think it affected the game at all? No, no effect whatsoever. It just means 799 people saw a dire performance from, from us. They'll listen, they'll be happy with, with their performance and quite rightly so um, because they're good at what they do, um, they know where the, the strengths are. There's a, again, realise where you're, where you're playing. There's a, there's a there's a skill in, in clearing the ball and putting the ball into good areas and, and being willing and, 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 and um, causing mistakes in the in the defensive third or in our half of the pitch. Did that really, really well. But that's not something we haven't told the players would happen. Um, so the disappointing thing for me is that they couldn't adapt, they couldn't do 
what was asked to at least from the start to get a foothold in the game um, and they almost looked surprised that that happened um, which again is not acceptable um, but like I say we'll, 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 have to, we'll have to go through it ruins, ruins everyone's weekend um, and I'll give them a challenge at half time um, around the game they didn't meet that so they suffer simple. Ten minutes after half time, you could be changed the system. Um, the force when Grey both came on. What was the thing behind that? Just, to, just the original system just wasn't working. Yeah, we again. We normally or at times we'll play with a, a four three three, and we, we tend to play with a four three three because it gives us um, a, a modicum of control, if you like. So the centre back can then split, and we're stepping into we're stepping into midfield. We knew that with what we were playing against the again match systems you're not really going to be able to get the ball up and play out so we had to play beyond that um, again change with me because the, the two players that came off and listen I'm not just picking out those two players it could have been any of the any of the ten players came off that had no impact in the game um, in fairness the subs came on and they had no impact in the game um, like I say really really bad day um, for everybody um, no one can, like, sit, like I say, sit in there with a, an inclined comfort that they did okay. Just finally, we now got to that week up before the FA Trophy game. You mentioned changes will come, but not just changes, but just, you know, with the players, but you know, the, the whole system as well needed. Um, the plan around the FA Trophy hasn't, hasn't changed in terms of in terms of what we do. Um, what it does, it. it, it it gives the people that will go into that game, or should do, they're going in to ultimately show what they can do. But if they do well, then they play the following week, simple as that. Because there's no one from that performance can come and go, oh, I had a decent game. And then got, never got never got played, absolutely not. We're playing a team, like I say, because every single one of them will tell me that they should be in the, the, the start in 11. Well, some of them, again, will be in the start in 11. Um, some of them have had opportunities in the last couple of games and what you've got to do is you have to be consistent no good having a great game on a Tuesday and a horrific game on a, on a Saturday well, that's going to get us nowhere I've said before in the in this league especially it's, quite often it's not the best team get promoted it's the most consistent team um, and at the moment our performances and knowing what we're going to get minute for minute never mind 90 minutes to 90 minutes or three games to three games or, or all over the place some of the players who were our best players got patted on the back on Tuesday. I've had absolute shockers today. Um, through a different challenge, not being able to cope with it, not being able to deal with it, you hope it will make them better as um, better as footballers. What they have to do, they have to learn from it, and we'll work on it next week, regardless of the opposition, um, because that was miles short of what I expect, miles short of what all of our coaching staff expect because if you look at what we've got, we're all players that played at a little bit higher than this level but also we played at a level where you have to do the basics and you've got to get away from uh, at times the fact that it's going to be lots of possession and you'll be able to pass the ball and you'll be able to move it side to side. This, this is again. This is non-league football. This is up and at them, up and at them at times, and you've got to be able to to deal with that. Um, and today, none of our players could deal with it. The back four, midfield four, nowhere near. Um, and that's like I say, we've come experience. We've experienced in players in there. We've players that um, that should be a bit of an eye opener for, but it needs to be miles better. Dave, thanks very much. Thanks.